Let's say there's a disaster that sends humanity back to the Stone Age. Can our knowledge and history survive? The printed page will decompose, hard drive storage will deteriorate, even stones will eventually crumble. But we might have something inside us that can outlast these physical limitations. Deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA already stores our biological information. From eye color to skin tone, it programs our entire bodies. DNA is made of four organic bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, or A, G, C, and T. The specific sequence of these bases into groups of three, known as codons, gives our cells instructions to make each of the proteins in our bodies. But this code can be used for other things too, like secret messages. In 1999, scientists in New York created an alphabet in which each of the 64 possible DNA codons substituted for a specific letter, number, or grammar symbol. They spliced a 22-character message into a long strand of DNA and surrounded it with specific genetic markers. They then hid the DNA over a period in a typewritten letter. Then they examined the letter, looking for the DNA strand. Once the DNA strand was located, they found the genetic markers. Then they sequenced the DNA and successfully decoded the message. It soon became obvious that DNA cryptography could code for much more than simple text. By translating the ones and zeros of binary code into DNA codons, digital data could be programmed into synthetic DNA, then decoded back into its original form. In 2012, UK scientists encoded 739 kilobytes of computer files into DNA strands. And four years later, researchers at Microsoft and the University of Washington used binary coding to capture a whopping 200 megabytes of data, including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, all in strings of DNA.